here we are, ShopRite. Same place, a few days ago, I walk in, the manager says I need to wear a mask. I told him that nah, I'm good. I showed him my medical card. He said that doesn't matter. It's still, you need to wear a mask. I said, I'm not going to. I'm going to continue to walk through the store. Then he proceeded to follow me afterwards. Said he, I really need to leave the store. He's going to call the cops on me. Now, I just looked up on their own website. And I took a... screenshot where it's extra precautions at this war war uh, Warminster shop right now employees at this shop right in Warminster PA are now wearing face shields masks and gloves they are not they aren't required to wear equipment but are encouraged to do so Customers are still greeted with a smile, but how can you tell when it's behind the mask? But this time by an employee wearing a face shield while offers offering sanitation wipes for shopping carts. You can't force anybody to wear these. We encourage it really strongly. Plus, the face mask we're wearing as well. I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than that. That what's going on here is a... Straight up violation of our federal uh, constitutional rights. So it's time to go in here and <clears throat> just set it, set it straight for him. Got all my documents.
The last time I was in here, he said he's going to call the cops on me. So I got to go walk by the manager.
my religion. Do you have a manager on site that I can talk to about that? If he has, a, if he has an issue with it? Actually, we are very short staffed here right now. You don't have a manager here? Oh, at the moment. The best person I don't know who to talk to. I'm so sorry. What's that? I'll give you a mask right now. No, I don't wear a mask. All right, the store's policy, if you come in here, you must wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, we offer alternative means of shopping. But you yeah. can't be in here without a mask. But that's it's our a, store policy. No, I understand that, but it's against my religion to wear Okay, that's fine. Then you can you can do alternate methods of shopping. It's I'm not doing alternate methods. Okay, then, then I have to ask you to leave. You can ask me to leave, but I don't have to leave. Yeah, if you're not going to willing to abide by our <clears throat> store. Now, when I looked on your website, this store here, the customers, they're not, you can't, your own manager says you cannot force anybody to wear the, wear the mask. No. Put it in there. You cannot. No, that I don't know what that is. Nope. You come in here, you wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, you can leave. Warminster Township. Oh, can you come over here? Warminster Township. It's, it's store policy. Yeah, no it's matter store, where we, But it also says that they can It's cannot, our policy. Yeah, wrong. They are, aren't no. required to wear the equipment, but are encouraged to do so. No. Th it's, this is your website right here. I don't know what website that is. If you're in here shopping, <clears throat> you wear a mask. Or you can use one of our alternative methods of shopping. It's against my religion. My that's first, fine. My First Amendment right. And that's not a religion, your First Amendment right. Oh, it it's is. It's my First Amendment right to tell you that my store policy is what you have to it's abide a, by. It's, it's a religion to believe that you have to wear it. Hey, no. Good. Uh, I, would I would appreciate it if you respect our policy. Whatever religion you have, I, I respect that. Yeah. But you already have to. Uh, we have a policy. And by enforcing our policy, we're keeping everybody safe from our employees. <laughs> And custom. That's according to the CDC guidelines that you think it's it's your belief that yes. that's true. Correct. That you're going and that's by my policy, and I have the right to. Are you the manager? Yes, I'm the store director. Okay. On this, I just tried to show him, but on your actual website, this is Warmester Township uh, Shop Right Grocery Store, right? Uh huh. All right. It says that they're ramping up the health safe measures of employees during the COVID outbreak. They aren't required to wear the equipment but are encouraged to do so. No. We are required. I don't know who put that up. You don't know who put it no. up? No, I don't. We are required. Everyone who comes in this building required to wear a mask. All I can tell you is I refuse to wear a mask I'm not wearing. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I you can ask me to leave but you can't make me leave. I will when I call the cops you will have to leave. Please call the cops I need you to. I'll wait right here peacefully. Uh, can you wait out there? Wait out where? Out in the lobby. No 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 I'm waiting right here in the store. You can't you can't restrict my movement. Oh, yes, I can. I can restrict. I have the right. If you want to if you want to be charged with unlawful restraint, that's fine. Call the cops. No, the this cops. This is my are policy, and I enforce my policy. I understand. You can okay, enforce. And you will have to leave. I will ask you to leave. I'm respectfully asking you to leave right now. I'm not leaving. Okay. I'm going to talk oh, to the cops when I get here. It's fine. Hi, we will carry out to the cops. Huh? Okay. It is illegal for you or any other employee to block yeah. someone's entry to establishment. Ask Joe to call them to the show. He's refusing to wear a mask. We asked him to leave. We want him to trespass and he's refusing to leave the door. How can you be trespassing when there... I'm not going to stop it. Is there a law? I'm not respecting my policy. I can't. Is there a law that states that... That's my policy. But you have to follow the federal law. No, that's my policy. Do you understand that you're breaking the law? It's fine. It's fine. Sue me. I'm not going to sue okay. you. This but is my I, policy. If you're not going to respect my policy, um, whatever you say doesn't mean anything to you. Yeah, why don't you respect um, the federal? Why don't you respect the federal? Do. And you know what? That's why I'm protecting all my employees. For the last year, we have not had any cases because we have a policy in place. We have a program in place. We have no cases of COVID whatsoever. Okay. Well, that's because good. Because we have a policy that we have. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. I'm protecting my employees. I'm protecting my customers. I'm protecting you. Well, you are. Users are all protected, right? Because you have your mask on. No, because you have you gotta have your mask on. But aren't you protecting me from I'm from protecting everybody? 
I'm protecting everybody, between my customers, my employees, everybody. If you don't, if you cannot understand that, no, I I understand what it is, but there's an infringement of, of people's First no. Amendment right. This Listen, is whatever whatever the law is, the law. Okay, this is my shopper policy. This is my policy. I put the policy. The owner put the policy. Yeah, well, you can put pickpocket Tuesday because it's your policy, but it's against the law. You can't it's not make against the law. It's not against the law. It, it's not against the law. We have attorneys to back us up. Yeah. yeah, we have attorneys that help us put these policies in place. Yeah, that's why we just stick to it. Cincinnati, they got beat up on that. Uh, got beat up on that. Uh, need to come back to where we were. You know about irrevocable licenses, right? I don't right? want to hear about it. You don't want to hear about nothing, nope. do you? Nope. That, because you're not respecting my but, policy. But that all that doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything to me. I understand. I can see that. Nothing matters to you nope. guys. It doesn't. Because it's just all about following following yeah, the policy. All it takes for you to wear a mask. That's is it. it is it a law to wear a mask? It's my law. It's your law. Yes. So you made your own law. That's my that's my own policy. Yep. Okay, but you just said you made your own law. That's my own law. That's my own shop right law. Yes. Wow. Like Where did you make? Are you are you part of the legislative branch I'm part that you of can the make shop a law? Right. You are in shop right. You are in my property. But it but it's you not. are in my property. You follow my policy. Yeah. Otherwise, we have the we have the law handle it. Okay. Well, that, I need to talk to them anyway. Yeah. I appreciate. I don't have to you. argue with you. I don't have to fight with you. Listen, man. We'll talk to them. The problem is, I'm not arguing with you or fighting with you. You're arguing with me and fighting I'm not, with me. Because you're disrespecting my policy. You're disrespecting my freedom. No, that's not your freedom. You it, talk to you talk to the president. My First man. Amendment right is okay. to be able to practice you, my religion you or not. That, you told that to the cops. I am going to the cops. Yeah, it's something else, man. It's only a. Like, I'm doing what I've been doing my entire life, Listen, which is coming shop, in Take your business mask. elsewhere. We'll practice your freedom elsewhere. I'm taking my business right here. Okay, you know you're not. No, you're not. If you're not going to respect my policy, I don't need your business. <clears throat> if you're not going to respect my policy, I don't need your business. You should respect the constitutional rights. Listen, this is the policy throughout the country, okay? You don't make up stuff. Yeah, right? I, yeah who, it's a mandate, right? It, this, talk, this is a mandate. This is a mandate, ain't it? By by state law, they mandate that you must wear a mask. It's a mandate by the owner, by the company, by our policy. It's a protection of my people. You don't understand that. Yes, I understand. No, you don't. Obviously, you don't. But that's your belief, which that's is exactly. you have a right to believe if you that. Don't, if you don't respect our belief, okay, you don't have to be there. You don't have to shop at our store. That's the way it is. Yeah. You respect me. I respect you. That's all it is. If you don't agree with my policy, you don't have to shop here. Simple as that. I don't agree with anybody's policy because because you are problem, not my are problem. all violating the law. That's fine. If you try to restrict my movement from moving forward, it's illegal restraint. That's a charge. That's fine. You so is false That's imprisonment. Charges. Go ahead. So is false imprisonment. Go ahead, buddy. Do what you gotta do. I, I am do gonna what you do, gotta do. Oh well. Your own website. Your own website. That's says not my you website. can't says you can't force people to wear masks. That's not my website. I guess it's just made up then, right? Dude, listen. I don't, like I said. Thank you. Who's the Joe owner? Who's the owner? Joe Cohen? Cohen? Listen, you speak to the cops right here. Is Joe Co I'm Cohen? I'm not going to argue with you. Man. Is that his name? I'm not gonna argue with Is you. the owner's name Joe Joe Cohen? Cohey. I'll take it as a yes. Joe Cohey said that they strongly urge you to wear a mask but cannot force you to. So they're his words. That's not true. Can I speak to Joe? No. Nope. Where's he at? You can't speak to Joe. Why not? Because you can't. Because I'm the store manager. You speak to me. Nothing. All right, well, I'll be talking to Joe. And I'll ask when him. When the cops come in, you told the cops. Yeah, yeah, I, no, I will. You can't force anybody to wear these masks. We encourage it real strongly. I mean, I can see how, I can see how you guys really encourage it strongly, but you can't force anybody this to do it. This is our policy. This is our policy. Buddy. All right. How are you, sir? 
I'm not sure if you're updated with our policy. Our policy is everyone must wear a mask. Okay. And you have a mask this gentleman is not respecting our policy. Right. So we're asking him kindly to leave the store, and he refused. I'm sure I can talk to you. You guys are being recorded for security purposes. That's okay. Just like you're recording me. Right. So my First Amendment right is my religious of belief. I'm able to practice it or not practice it, wherever it is. They can claim it's not an actual religion, but this is a religion. Your religion is based on your belief, your belief system. I believe that when I come into the store, I shouldn't be harassed and people telling them that telling me that they're going to call the cops on me to try to get you to force me out of here. I talked to him. I told him about his own manager, whose name is Joe Kohei, and he even says it strictly right here. You cannot force anybody to wear a mask, but we encourage it real strongly. What's your name, sir? Robin Tees. Robin, Robin? Tees. Tees? Yep. Do you have identification on you? Yes. Can I see you, please? Sure. Is this your present address? Yep. Or are you D.I.S.? Robin. Close enough. No. Oh. My eyes are not what they used to be. That's fine. Uh, what's the address for you today? 2209. Black Horse. Drive right? Yeah. That's more I think? Yeah. Okay. What's your phone number for you, sir? Um, stores are not make policies for safety reasons. All right. We are in the middle of a COVID epidemic right now. Yeah. The store mandates to all shoppers, right. regardless of who they are, doesn't matter what race, religion, whatever. Right. If you'd like the opportunity to shop in the store, you need to wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask... Well, I'm encouraged to wear a mask. No, they said you need to wear a mask. And if you don't wear a mask, you need to leave the store. They've asked you to leave the store, so you need to leave the store. I need to leave, or they asked me to leave? They asked you to leave the store. All right. I have an irrevocable license to be in any store, just like everybody on the planet has an irrevocable license. This place is a public accommodation. They sell goods to services to the public. I'm part of the public. So when I come into the store, and especially on their own website, when their own Matt, their own boss says that they cannot force you to wear a mask. So if he is saying he can't force me to wear a mask, why would you try to force me out of the store? They've asked you to leave the store. So right now you're considered a trespasser. Trespassing, for, but for what reason? Because you're not welcome in the store if you're not going to follow the rules. They can make up their own rules that they want, but they still have to follow the federal laws. What's happening here is when they try to restrict my movement forward, like when I when I turn around and start walking forward to continue to shop, they're going to be... You, you know what, the, you know what uh, unlawful restraint is, right? I do, yes. What is it? Can you explain to them what that means, unlawful sure. restraint? I mean, I'm talking to the officer. They have not unlawfully restrained you. Not at this moment, but they are trying to keep me from moving forward. My freedom to move forward is being infringed. I have my constitutional rights. All you guys have this right. See, what you don't understand is don't I'm do doing it. Don't talk to me. See, he's just being ignorant. I'm actually sticking up for everybody here. Because you don't have to wear your mask, you don't have to wear it, and you don't have to wear it, you don't have to wear it. You need to wear a mask. That's your thoughts. That's that's your thoughts. That's your belief. That's not my belief. Hey, it's my belief. But you know what? I can't force you to take your mask off. You can't force me to put a mask on. It's it goes both ways. They cannot force you to put a mask on, but they can tell you you can't shop here if you're not going to follow the rules. But the rules are here because of something that they believe, which is their right to believe. It's their religious beliefs. This has nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with religion. It's all about safety. There's a epidemic right now with COVID. <clears throat> you heard of it, right? Of course I heard of it. Thousands of people dying every day. Look, I wouldn't be here, standing here right now, if there was a law that says you can be locked up if you do not wear a mask. Where is the law? 
Because if there's no law, there's no trespass. They can't make up rules with no law. There's no backing to it. It's just like they can tell you you're not allowed to smoke in the store. It's the same thing. You can't smoke in here, right? Would you agree with that? Yeah, I, who would? Okay, well, who wouldn't wear a mask? The people that don't believe they have to, which is their religious belief, which is being infringed upon on our First Amendment right, that you can practice your religion or not. Wherever you can either, you can either believe the virus thing is real and comply with the ordinances. But these orders, you do know that Governor Wolf already violated our First Amendment right and our 14th Amendment right with the freedom to assemble. Did you hear that he did that? I, I don't know where you're getting your information. <clears throat> I'm here to deal with this situation. This, but this is all about this situation. Okay. What I'm trying to say is I wouldn't be standing here if I felt like I was in the wrong. Governor Wolf already violated the First Amendment, the 14th Amendment right. He's doing it again. He, these are authoritative orders. You're saying they're mandates by our governor. He's already violating his authority. He's been proving it. He's violating this one, too. He's violating this authority that you feel like you have to wear a mask when there is no law that says you have to. And there's no police officers that I know of that are enforcing these, these rules because these are unlawful rules. There's no backing behind it. There's no law. These are lawless rules. A store is permitted to establish rules to keep their establishment safe and to keep their customers safe. Right. And if they feel that something's unsafe, they can enforce that. The store has any They can enforce it, but they I just have said, I just said the same they can enforce it, but they still need to follow the federal law. Well, that's a whole separate issue. If you feel that your laws have been violated, then you can take that up at a later date. But for right now, if you want to continue to shop, you need to put a mask on. If you're not going to put a mask on, you need to leave. And so if I don't leave, what, it, what, will, you, what will you do to me? We're going to arrest you for criminal trespass. Criminal trespass. Yes, sir. Even though there's no law saying that you have to wear a mask. The store has a rule that you need to wear a they, mask when you're in here. They can make any rules they want to. It's also out in the whole state here. It's in the states and the county that everybody should be wearing a mask right now. This is all going to change, and it's going to start with this store here. And you're going to thank me for it. I would love for this to change. No. Or not. Before you. In the I would end, love to get rid of this. In the end, you'll thank me for it. Yeah, but right now, you hate me for it. I would love it. to see that. I would love to see that change. Believe it or not. We're hoping. I mean, the whole goal with the mask is we can knock this yeah, exactly. disease down and that the disease ends yeah. and then we can all be normal again. Yeah. Um, you know, nobody wants to wear a mask. Nobody wants to see people get in trouble for not wearing masks. Mm -hmm. But nobody wants to get sick either. Yeah. Well, do you want to be sick on Christmas? I don't wear a mask. I haven't worn one. I'm not going to wear one ever because it's my religious belief not to. That's why I'm here standing up for every, everybody's constitutional rights that you just don't get. This is for you. This is for your family. I don't need to ask you if you believe this thing is a legitimate thing, but if you don't, they're forcing you to wear your mask, and it's against your religion if you don't want to. That's what's being protected, but in a constitutional right. There's no police officers that are actually enforcing this rule because you're not a CDC guideline uh, enforcement officer, are you? No, like, I'm not. Okay, well then I'm you can't. But, but you can't enforce something. Uh, you can't enforce that because there's no law behind it. That's why the police like to stay out of it. Most most police officers do not even get involved with this because it's it's so it's so neutral, and there's there's this side and that side. So it's a fine balance be between who's committing crimes here. If I get pulled out of here for violating trespassing, then the counter charge will be false imprisonment and illegal restraint because you don't have a restraining order against me to get me out of the store because there's no law backing this ordinance that's a voluntary measure. These mandates that are brought down from Governor Wolf, they're voluntary. Recommendations. There's, there's company policies in place for keeping associates keeping all workers and customers safe. And that's our policy that we believe from day one. Belief, exactly. From day you just, one. You from just day said one, key word. That, and we are forcing it. We you, believe it and we enforce okay, it. Okay, well, I believe... So we kindly ask you and respectfully ask you, if you don't respect our policy, to leave the store. You can take your business elsewhere. Right, but you said that 
It has nothing to do with religion, but he, yet he just said that's his belief. Religion has everything to do with your belief. I think you're putting words in a man's mouth. The store has policy. He just said he believes it. Did you not say that's what you believe? No. Belief and believe, believe, I mean, it's not necessarily a religious word. Okay? The store has policies. It's a privately owned franchise, and they can have policies. Pri privately owned. It doesn't. It does not matter if it's private. You're not being singled out because everybody has to do it. Look, it doesn't matter if it's privately owned or not because my first, my, the Constitution, 1964, the Federal Civil Rights Act, the, when you refuse services, it doesn't matter if you're a public establishment or a private establishment. You cannot refuse people's services due to their religious beliefs. That's not why you're being refused service. It's you're it, being refused service because the store has a policy that everybody in the store must wear a mask. If you look around the store, everybody's wearing a mask. They're enforcing it to everybody. Mm -hmm. Nobody's being singled out. It's the same for everybody. So my, one of my other questions is when, when I'll talk to, I'll call the actual owner because on his website he says he, even though he strongly urges to wear a mask, he cannot force anybody to do it. So why are you forcing me to do it, or else you're going to drag me out of the store, and lock me up for? No, I don't uh, want to drag you out of the store and lock you up. I'd like you to leave. Or put a mask on. Yeah. You can continue shopping. You just need to put a mask on. It's against my rigid, religious beliefs okay. to do so. Well, then you know, the store doesn't want you here if you're not going to exercise you know, the safety of the other customers and yourself. They've this already was, asked you to leave. If this was our religious belief, we would have been wearing these before the pandemic started. It's not a religious belief. So, but when you. If a, before this pandemic, when a Muslim comes in with their face covering, can you tell them to take the face covering off? There's, I don't think there's any store policies against that. No, no there isn't. Not, the but there is a store jacket. policy that you need to wear.